Well, I'd like to turn over the panel to Ron Cooper, who is going to tell you a lot more. Can everyone hear me? Good. Derek, thank you very much for inviting me to participate from the panelists. Um, I come from this tradition of the new world. We're talking about the old world. And uh, the indigenous peoples of uh, the new world have depended on the roast of God for more than 10,000 years. Uh, the the Gabe Magie Met uh, Mescali, the roasted Gabe, roasting the earth, was the major bulk food source of the Americas uh, when humans were beginning to uh, pick seeds off the tall grass and actually create corn. Okay. So that goes back at least 10,000 years. Uh, and every uh, fiesta, uh, every serious spiritual religious ceremony in Oaxaca, Mexico, uh, begins with a prayer, and uh, it is always in the most sacred space in the house, which is the family altar room, and the walls are adorned with the saints and relics of ancestors. And uh, a judge is appointed, and a cross is poured on the floor for Mother Earth and our ancestors. So that's done, so now the fiesta. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Okay, maybe this thing will roll. <coughs> so, I, uh, 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 it's really interesting that everyone here is going to talk about exactly the same thing. And it's going to be talked about in different ways. And uh, the day before leaving to come here, I remembered something very important that I had read in a book and I went searching through my library, which was stored in different places. Finally put my hands on it. And uh, it was a lot about uh, Dionysus and uh, transformation and uh, you know, the effects of uh, nature and religion and uh, the relationship to the mind and uh, intoxication. And uh, I went, well, I began to print all this stuff. And I went, well, wait a minute, that's what I always talk about anyway. So. <laughs> um, we've done this uh, Zapotec uh, prayer, Stigi Bayu, means to your health, to the health of your friends, and the life of the planet. So it's always a very respectful Mother of Earth kind of uh, uh, attitude. And um, this magie, this roast agave, uh, provided shelter, uh, food, you know, roast agave plant has got um, complex carbohydrates, beneficial steroids, uh, uh, it's got uh, a lot of vitamins and very slow burning fructose energy. Uh, if you cut the leaves off uh, in order to roast the agave. Uh, you're left with leaves which uh, dry become thatch for roofs or uh, become uh, pounded in the river, they become fiber for clothing and shoes and rope. Uh, so it's a miraculous plant. And uh, uh, the ancient people saw this plant as receiving cosmic energy and giving it to humans. Uh, and it's a plant that demands nothing. Uh, it doesn't need water. It 
its pores open at night, it absorbs water from uh, the atmosphere. So it doesn't even want to be here. It grows where other plants will not grow. Um, and uh, certain species produce something called pulque, which is a ferment of a juice that comes up uh, from the heart of the earth every day and has to be harvested morning and night when the plant rots and dies. So there, man has this relationship with the plant. Um, the experience of this fermented beer or wine from the Lagae uh, is uh, a symbol of nature's rebirth, this daily uh, rebirth. And uh, the ancient uses of Pulque uh, were just transferred to Mexico. Uh, every ceremony uh, in ancient Mexico uh, began with the imbibing of Pulque. And uh, normally, even today in Mexico, in these indigenous villages that I have spent time in, uh, you don't drink cocktails in the afternoon. Uh, you wait for a fiesta. The fiestas, a funeral's nine days, a wedding is eight days, a confirmation is three days, a baptism is three days, and you're encouraged to drink as much as you can to get closer to the gods. Now, the ancient uh, gods of intoxication and ecstasy, we know about Bacchus uh, and the Bacchanal, uh, you know, and the transformation of, of people, uh, uh barbers, uh, you know, chopping down trees and, and really doing hard labor and a release and a relief uh, in the new world, uh, you know, like Johnny Appleseed. Uh, was cider and apple trees gave this uh, transformative uh, release. But in ancient Mexico, there were infinite gods and goddesses of intoxication and ecstasy and all the forms that it took. Uh, the smell of a flower, the touch of a lover, the aha, the idea, each one of those aspects uh, has its individual god or goddess. And um, the, uh, the imbibing of Mescal, uh, for me, puts me into a very different state than any other spirit I've ever had. Um, and, uh, you know, it may have to do with uh, this cosmic nature of this plan. I'm not sure. I mean, no one's done a... Uh, found uh, chemical analysis uh, as to um, what creates this effect. But prior to harvesting uh, these agaves to produce mezcal, uh, our makers uh, actually do uh, prayers or, uh, or uh, sacrifices in the forest. Uh, our maker of Tobala, the wild agave, actually asked the gods permission to uh, harvest this wild agave uh, to produce this incredible uh, spirit. And uh, our maker from Santa Catarina Minas, who's been telling me he's 79 for the last six years, uh, <laughs> is uh, very long-winded. <laughs> but he's never, you know, never lied. He's completely honest. And he says that by the will of God and the will of the again, I can make good mess now. So they actually see a spiritual essence in this plant. And, um, you know, they see this spiritual essence and all the village producers that I work with have this combination of uh, reverence and love for the plant. And uh, you know, in terms of modern uh, production, you know, maybe when uh, the human will is exerted uh, and the production becomes over manipulated, uh, it leaves little room uh, left for the will of God in the spirit. So, I believe these spirits have a lot of uh, living energy in them. 
Um, so this Maguey that I asked for little um, uh, gives a lot back. I think that it uh, imparts a, uh, a real resiliency uh, due to its life as a survivor. And, uh, you know, if you, uh, if you believe like many of us do, that this Maguey is a very wise plan, um, what it asks from us uh, is, is not, nothing other than time. And the gifts that it uh, bestow, by comparison, are truly bad. Thank you.